Greetings, yogis, and welcome to our virtual class. Today is the last class of um, this session, and since we've been going, some of you on and off since April, and I thought it'd be a good idea to reinforce some of the concepts we learned uh, over the past few weeks and apply them to poses that we're going to do today. Um, I look forward to connecting with you when I'm over my sabbatical. I think it's really important for all of us to take a pause and assimilate what we've learned, what we've done. So I hope that you will incorporate, go back to other classes that you've seen, that you have from recordings um, and reinforce, you know, it's always new again. So let's begin. I think the only prop we need today is a blanket. So make sure you can hear me because some people, I don't have a human there that's going to tell me. So if this is loud, you can always turn it down. So I have you up a little high. So you know I like to start every class with a shakeout and moving in non-habitual ways to loosen us up. And this is really good for um, all kinds of circulation, your lymph, your blood. So just move, move. And it gets us out of our holding patterns. You know, we have like a certain amount of facial expressions, a certain amount of movements that we just habitually repeat, repeat, repeat. So just get a little wild and crazy. Ha! <sighs> Good. Take a deep breath in and out. <sighs> nice. And I also like to start with some form of massage, either rubbing, patting, punching, you name it. So today, let's just get, I like to give a little slap down. And this is good for waking up the muscles and then giving it a little gentle rub-a-dub-dub -dub just to wake those muscles up. Any way that feels good. I like to move intuitively. There's something in yoga people say, what does my body need now, you know? And listen to your body. Don't let your head tell you. Sometimes you can let your head tell you. <laughs> and just rub it down to warm those muscles up. Beautiful. And then sit in any comfortable position. If you, uh, if your knees are above your hips, elevate yourself. If not, just sit back, lean, and pull the fleshy part back. But the, pull the fleshy part in the sitting bones. You're sitting right on those sitting bones. You're half standing. Turn, thigh bones in and your calf muscle out. So you see I'm going with just rolling it. Over time, things will change and hopefully you'll get more flexible, have more strength. Good. And I'm gonna put my right, your right foot in front. Good. Release this at any time. If there's any discomfort in any of the joints, you can always prop up your knees. You can sit like this. So you just make it work for you. So now we're going to rub it, zub, zub, and slap, slap, slap. Warm it up. begin to access the breath. Nice, smooth, silky breath. Okay. 
And then, like that massage where we go up the erectus spinae along the spine, spine muscles. Go up a little further, up there. Give yourself a little pat down. And one of my favorites is shampoo. Again, you can always release and come back. Come back, come back wherever you are. Beautiful. So, sitting comfortably, making sure you're on those sitting bones. You're going to build the posture. And I want you to ground, yield into the floor, whatever is touching the floor. Push down. Push. And now push and extend up. And that was one of the principles, the yielding, grounding, the pushing, and then the lengthening. Let your arm bones come back. Let your pelvis be neutral. You're not tuck, tucking or arching. Nice neutral pelvis, tailbone down, you're on your sitting bones. I like to think of the tailbone as a grounding, like you have a two-prong plug-in with the sitting bones and then the tailbone. Good. So let's bring the arms up and give ourselves a stretch. Press down, stretch up, extend your spine. Take a few deep breaths in, nice relaxing breath. Soften the jaw. Feel the expansion. And then opening up the arms, bring the arms behind you and come into Yoga Mudra, the heart opening. This is the anti-iPhone pose. Good. So we're going to reinforce the three-part breath. It's called Durga Pranayama. It's the basic breath. So bring you one hand to the belly, one hand to the chest. Breathing in, expand the bottom, middle, and top part of your lungs without lifting the shoulders. And then as you exhale, you're breathing through the nose, emptying top, middle, bottom, drawing that navel in and up. This is the basic breath again. Bottom, middle, top part. Feel the rib cage expanding. Just imagine the diaphragm coming down as your lungs expand and then. Exhaling, diaphragm moves up into that void, navel comes in and up. So a couple of more times, let's do three more breaths. Expand on the inhale, extend on the exhale. Last time. Good. Beautiful. And just shake out. Keep so switch the legs. We're going to come back to the right leg in front. And one of the basic is the set the movements of the spine. So the spine is neutral, and then there are six movements that we make in yoga. And this is a great warm up. We could do it standing sitting or on all fours. So we're going to start by inhaling the right arm up, anchoring the arm bone in the socket, and reach. Just reach up. We have that nice long spine. I'm going to slide my hand out a little, bend the elbow, inhale over, and exhale, stretching those fingertips away from the sitting bone. Let's breathe in here again. And stretch, good. And come up, 
really tall. Let's bring the other arm up, anchoring neutral spine, and over. Let's inhale to the other side. So we're stretching up to so come over, grounding down on your left sitting bone. Exhale and stretch. Take another breath in. Exhale and stretch. I love that. It's a miracle. And come back up. Neutral spine. Bring the arms behind you. Fingertips. You can come like this, or you could bring the heels of your hand if that works for you. Right back of the buttocks. Press into your hands. Lift up. Feel those shoulder blades lifting up your upper back, the heart, nose, and heart to the ceiling. Just looking up. So little baby upper backward bend. Good. And then we'll slide the hands around and just come into a forward fold, keeping this wide. Not like this, but wide. Stretch across. You can bend your elbows wherever you are. Take a deep breath in and just surrender. We're going to take three breaths here. So notice, just let the head your chin can come towards your chest. You can walk your hands forward. Scoop your belly in. Feel the breath coming into the back body. And then with your chin to your chest, just roll yourself up. Tall. Let's bring the arms up. Stretch. And come into, let's go this way to this side. You're going to come into a little twist. So depending, we don't know what's going on with our spine. So release with consciousness and gingerly. Take a deep breath in and then just twist. Feel the navel, the rib cage. Breathe in fully. Extend. And gently, if you choose, twist a little more. So I'm not extreme. I like to breathe into the twisted places. Take a breath. Good. And just stretch the arms up. Come back, anchored arm bones. And we'll come to the other side. So extension. The inhalation and gentle twist, keeping your shoulders even. Good. Take another deep breath, lengthen, extend, twist. Good. Lift the arms up, come back, stretch, lift, open up. So bring your arm, let's bring one foot down, the other foot down, and come into. A table pose, reverse table. Crown is reaching to the back wall. Wrap those lower glutes, lift up. Push into the floor, feel that. You're grounded, you're pushing. And extend up and then come back and bring the left leg in the front. Same thing with that. Sit right on those sitting bones. They like to creep. So bring them back. Good. So we're going to do that sequence of the seven movements. And you'll see it's a little easier the second time. So inhale up. Anchor the arm bones. Stretch and lift. Over. Take another deep breath in. Exhale and extend. Beautiful. Inhale both arms up. Anchor. Arms down. Bend, always lift up and come over. Good. Right from your fingertips to the sitting bones. Inhale again. And stretch and reach. Beautiful. And come back. Open up the arms. Bring them behind you. We'll do it this way this time. Push. Baby back bend. Just breathe in, feel the stretch. 
Feel the opening, bring your arm bones back. And then looking forward, slide the hands. This time come to the pinky edges. Make the thumbs and pinkies. So you can go, here's the crease here, bring it down and stretch. Stretch, stretch. So ground, push into the ground, extend that spine. Take a deep breath in, and as you exhale, surrender. Chin to the chest, scoop in your abdominals. Take three breaths. Chin to the chest, slide yourself up. Let's bring the arms up. Neutral spine again, and you will twist. Take a deep breath in, extend, and just a gentle twist. Again, lengthen, and twist. Bring both arms up. Anchor those beautiful arm bones to the other side. Lift. Round, push, extend, grow, and twist. Breathe in, extend again, and twist. Good. And bring those arms up, back, stretch again, stretch again like that. Good. And just stretch the arm, the, the legs out. Um, sit in any comfortable way. And we did something called contract release with our legs um, a few classes ago. And if you didn't, weren't in that class, it's when the you do a gentle isometric. We're going to work like forty percent of our effort. And what it does is it lets the muscle relax so that you can give it a little better stretch. So versus me like just stretching my head down like that, um, we're gonna do, we're gonna clasp the hands, we're gonna have a nice long spine, and you're gonna see what your natural range is without forcing. Just gently bring the chin towards your collarbone, but I also want you to lift your collarbone to your chin so you're not collapsing in the upper body. Okay? So just gentle. Now I want you to take a deep breath in, hold the breath, and do a gentle isometric. And then exhale and see if the chin comes a little closer. No forcing, could be a millimeter. Take another deep breath in. Hold, gentle isometric. And release. Good. You're gonna do one more time. Take a nice deep breath in. Hold it. And relax. Good. So keep your hands here. You just open up the elbows. Cradle your head, let your thumbs come a little more down. And come back to neutral. Okay, so we're going to do that to the right. You're going to take your hand here. You can extend this one. And taking it, see where your ear goes towards your shoulder. Gently. Take a deep breath in. A gentle little isometric. Exhale and see if it moves a micro movement. Again, deep breath. And the more you stretch this way, you'll really feel it all through. Hold and stretch. One more time. Take a deep breath in. Press. And stretch. Good. And take this knuckle 
her knuckles and behind her ear. Just give it a little massage. Good. And gently bring the head back up. You always work gingerly, the cervical spine or whole spine, so with consciousness. So let's switch our legs before we do the other side. So we can give it a little kick out and just put the left in front. And we'll do this side stretch. Hand here, stand here, see where it goes. Take a deep breath, isometric, release, a little more stretch. Again, deep breath in, isometric. Remember like 30, 40%, not 100. And stretch a little more. Last time. And stretch. Good. Taking the fists. Good. Let the head gently come up. So the last one we're going to do, I call the exorcist one. And um, we're going to just turn the head, nice long spine. And the hand comes here, right? And the same thing, I'm looking at you. You're going to do a little isometric, and then you'll see. Now your head is not going to face the back wall, but you never know. OK, so see what your natural range of motion is, right? And then you'll see what the diff if there is a difference. So nice long spine, my natural range, hold the breath in, gentle isometric, shoulders down, arm bones back, exhale and turn. Again, deep full breath. We're going to do it only two times on this side. Isometric. Let go and turn. So you can see the difference because what this does, it relaxes the muscle. Let's just switch to the other side. It relaxes the muscle, it pulls the muscle that it's going back. So it softens. You know how our muscles get tight sometimes, we're like, where are we going? And you can just get a nice, gentle stretch in your neck. Again, the other side, take a deep breath in. Oh. Natural range of motion, okay? Long neck, deep breath in. Exhale, turn. Again, take a deep breath in. And turn, good. So let your exorcist head come back. Put your thumbs on the bottom of your skull and your fingertips are on your scalp. Just gently move the head in any way that feels good. Huh. So with our nose, imagine that there's a clock in front of you and just gently circle the circumference of the clock, and then the other way. Good. And let's do a full body isometric. Squeeze, tight, 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 tight. Let it go. Deep breath in. Tight, 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 tight. Let it go. And last one. Squeeze. Really good. So shake it out, shake it out, shake it out. Any sounds, any pounds. Uh, okay. So one of my favorite go-tos is called the trilogy. I call it the trilogy because it's three three basic movements. Bring the sitting bones back. It is our sitting strengthening. Okay. So I'm going to do this sitting first where I want you to bring your arms out like this, flex your feet, the heels are reaching, right? And from the tailbone through the crown, 
I want you to make believe you're leaning against the back wall. Like you're pressing against the back wall. Your back arms stretch. This is strengthening for the back. Feel the crown reaching, tailbone to the crown. Good. And then just loosen that up. So we're going to do Dandasana, the staff pose, where we spread our fingers, press into the heel of the hand, the metacarpals and your finger pads are grabbing, ground down. My arms are long, I bend my elbows. I've had students that had short arms and they had to go on fists. So make it work for you that you have a nice, long, open heart space and a long spine. And we're gonna flex. So we're gonna breathe like the wind, press into your hands, press through your heels. This is so strengthening through the crown, tailbone. So breathe in through the crown and out through the heels. And in through your heels, bring it through your legs, up through the crown, crown to the tailbone and sitting bones, out through your heels. Three more breaths like this, just go up and down your body, just imagine the energy. Good, and just loosen up. So that's the neutral spine. And now we're going to do an incline plank. So I'll give you choices. If you choose, you can do this that we did before. You can step out your ankles and knees. And I'm not dropping my head back. I'm letting my crown reach for the back wall. That's one, or you can. I bring my hands back, I open up my heart space, arm bones down, my whole top is fixed, dig into those heels and lift up, okay? My crown is reaching. I like to hug my arm bones, ground, feel those hands, push into the floor and extend through your toes, through your crown. Take a few breaths and come. Loosen up. <sighs> so that's the trilogy. We'll only do it once today. But you, I love that. It's just like a well-rounded spine thing there. So say hello to your hands. Say hello to your wrists. Good. So let's come over and do a nice little quad stretch. Take your hand, if you can hold, this leg is bent, and I'm just gonna pull that leg back. I'm trying to keep the knee and the groin, right, I'm just pulling. So remember, we start with an elbow bent and then straighten a little bit, pull that leg. I want you to feel it in your quads. Open up the heart now, let my arm bones come back. Breathe. And come back, we'll do the other side. So you can do the standing, you could do this whole force. Everything we do, we can do many different ways. Same movement. So another way you could just press the pelvis more forward. You could bow. So now I'm really not just stretching my quads, my whole body's in a bow. Pull, pull, pull. Get that nice little feeling in your quadricep muscle. It's one of the muscles you have to stretch because it doesn't really stretch on its own when we're walking, it contracts more. Good. And just bend the ankle, bend your, cross your legs at the ankles. And now just drop your head, scoop in your belly, take a few breaths. So we're gonna come onto the belly and stretch out. Okay, give yourself a nice extended stretch. 
Good. Bring, make your hands into a pillow and just breathe into your belly. Feel the expansion up against the floor. Stretch your legs out. Allow yourself to relax here. Notice like, all right, I'm in a new pose and our body gets all rough. <laughs> Just let yourself take a five breath, huh, melt. You can turn your toes in. Now pressing into the hands, just lift your chest. You can bring your elbows back a little if you like. We're just going to be working with a little back bend here. So strengthening the upper back muscles that get overstretched when we round from driving and looking at our phones and computers. So we're like contract, feel those muscles working just to lift your upper back. Stretch the legs away. Good. And then bring your elbows under your shoulders and roll your shoulders forward, up, back and down. Stretch your legs away and lift up your chest. You're in a sphinx pose. Your elbows are under your shoulders. And let's play with the concepts of, okay, ground. I want you to really feel those arms push into the floor, push into the tops of your feet. Oh, arm bones back. Breathe, extend. Pull, pull yourself forward. Like you're pulling on a rug. Feel your heart coming, like shining like a beam forward. Now push. And see how that can lift you. And pull. Beautiful. And then just elbows out, lower, bend your knees. Windshield wipe your legs. Good. So bringing your hands here by your under your shoulders, lift up through a cobra. And stretch back into an extended child or puppy pose. Feel the spine, tailbone in one direction, crown in another. Stretch your back. Good. And come into table. So you're going to do your table pose. Your expression of table, okay? So you're going to just come and Cats and dog. Just move in any way that your body says, oh, this feels delicious. Good. Beautiful. And then take your right leg forward and slide the left leg back. This is where you might want to put a blanket under your knee. Okay? Lift up. So my ankle's under my knee. Okay? Stretch. And then come back. And this is a little baby. Monkey pose, Hanumanasana. Bow down, flex that leg. Good. Now, take your hand here, bring the leg over. So I'm going to get my blanket for my knee because I didn't believe in discomfort on my joints. <laughs> so do what you have to do as well. Okay? Ah, it feels so much better. So I'm going to be on the top of that back foot, okay? 
I'm half standing. And I'm, just, I'm gonna do this one with a flex leg today, okay? So here I am, stretching. I'm gonna bring this arm up, anchor my arm bones, reach and stretch. First I'll take a little bit of a stretch this way, and then I'm going to come into a gate pose. So my ear comes towards my, L, my shoulder, my underarm comes towards my knee. So my gate is open. It's trying to close. <laughs> just stretch, flex that leg and just slide. Take a few breaths and come up. And then bringing this hand down, we're gonna come into a half moon on our knee. So this leg, press out. Try to get your leg as parallel as possible and reach, reach away from the ground. So we're grounded, we're pushing, we're extending. Extending through the arms and the heart space, through the crown, through the heel, open up, create that beautiful half moon space. Beautiful. And come back. If you can, sit on your heels. Oh, just feel that. Coming back to your table, a little cat and doggy again. And bring the other leg forward, whatever leg you didn't have before, and extend the back leg. It's almost like you're trying to get on the top of your knee, bottom of your thigh, if you can. It comes in time, okay? So stretch, lift. Take a few breaths and then push into the floor, stretch, scoop in your abdominals, beautiful, and coming back, lift up, bring this leg out, flex it, okay, I'm going to bring a little back a little. I always say if you're not happy where something is, move it. It's also a metaphor for life. Sometimes we get stuck in a situation. Change it <laughs> if you can. Breathe in, micro movements. <laughs> Stretch over. <sighs> Breathe in, anchor, ear to my shoulder. Hand down, let it slide wherever your gait is. You can have a gait like this. Navigate. So I'm hinging in this side hip, right? And then if you want, you can try to close the gait. The deer will get in. <laughs> and come back up. Stretch up. Bring that leg back. Sit on your heels. Just bow down. Stretch your back. So what I'd like to do um, is a little baby camel. Come this way. Rub your back. Arm bones. So I like to give it a nice rubby rub rub. Press your pelvis forward and your thigh bones back. Right? This stabilizes. And just let your heart and nose come to the ceiling. Nice kitten neck. I put my hand right behind my neck and grab the scruff. That's what I want you to feel. Put your hand there and just nice scruff the neck like a kitten, right? You can hold it if you like. Beautiful. So that is the beginning of the camel. For those of you who do the camel and want to do the full camel, you can bring the arms up, open, same thing, thigh bones back, pelvis forward. Some people go like that. It's a big stretch in the quads. Not necessary if you're not there yet. This is perfectly 
Beautiful. You want to feel that stretch from the pubic bone all the way up. And then come over. Give yourself a nice stretch. Tailbone and crown moving in opposite directions. Good. And come into a dog hold. This stretches the back in the opposite direction. So stretch. Let that tailbone move away. If you like, bend your knees. Walk your dog. Explore your dog. Stretch. Dog hold. And then walk your hands back. You can get rid of the blanket if you like. Okay, bend knees. Take your hands into yoga mudra. Give yourself a nice back stretch. Then bring your hands to the tops of your knees, bottoms of your thighs. Extend and come up. And just give yourself a nice little rub-a-dub-dub. -dub. Okay. Ah, standing shake out, if you will. Do any movements. If your body is calling for it. One wants a little wrist stretch, wants a little, a little warm up and love. I'm doing a lot of gardening, kind of. <laughs> stretch, stretch, stretch. Shake, shake, shake. So I just wanted to reinforce we had. One of the classes had the daily five um, from that, from yoga therapist Leah Albert, and I've been doing it, and I have to say, I know some of you are too, it makes a difference. So the first one, we're gonna to come to standing, find your big toe mound, roll across your metatarsals, feel the outer edges of your feet, right? Neutral pelvis, just like when we were sitting. Tailbone dropping like an anchor between your heels. Weight right over the heat, front of the heels. Soft knees. Extend the spine. So we're going to come into this kind of mount, just like we did sitting. And I want you to energize your back body. Okay, so like you're standing against the wall. Push into that wall with your back body. Without locking your knees, you'll feel it more in your upper back, the backs of your arms, the back of your head. This is extremely strengthening. So that was the number one of the daily five. Number two was the back bend, and we've done some of those, so you have to do a big one, just opening up and doing a little tiny back bend. And then we have the groin, which we did, the stretchings of the groin. And that we have when we do our warrior. Good. And lift the heel, and it was the pressing of the heel down to stretch your, the, um, that's the name of that muscle, calf muscle. Ta da! Okay, so bounce and stretch that calf. Drop that tailbone, lift that pubic bone, open heart. Good. And then we'll do this one. So we're getting the groin and that. Mm -hmm. Good. 
And we did the quads, so that was one. So we'll do that, just feel your quad. So I'm not doing a back bend with it now, just stretch it. Honestly, if you do these basic things, you could build up. Good. And then it was the out, this outer, the abductor muscles. Yes, so we'll do that when we sit. Um, so before we come to seated, I'd like to also work on our balance pose. And the balance that we were doing is if you stand on your right leg, bring your weight over that leg, okay? Don't let it stay in the middle if you're gonna balance. Soften the knee just a bit. Lift up, bring your weight off your leg. See if the, you can lift that pelvis up and away and then come into your tree pose. And we'll do our tree meditation. See if you could take 10 breaths in tree, pressing your palms. And then over. Feel the difference in the legs. Spread the toes. Ground, yield. Push, extend. And come into your tree on the other side. Bring that weight over. Push your palms. And take 10 breaths. Come out, come back. Good, beautiful. And then coming back down to the floor, come onto your back and we will do the outside of the thigh. So that was a cool down. So just roll yourself down. Swing the knees into the chest. Take a deep breath in and out. Work your shoulders away from your ears. and extend one leg, bring the other leg in towards your side ribs, stretch, flex both legs. And then we're gonna bring this leg over. So let's do an isometric with this leg. Press it into the hand. So like fire up that muscle and then just give it a little gentle knee down twist. And you can look in the opposite direction. Feel. Good. And then come back, bring that knee in again. Stretch it up. Good. Ah, heel down. And let's bring the other leg in. Side ribs, just begin to melt into your mat, softening, relaxing, letting go. Take this leg over, the arch on the knee if you choose. 
Some people do it here. Just do a little isometric. Pull that muscle. Mm -hmm. And then come over and take this. You can push it like that. Keep your shoulders on the ground. And look in the opposite direction. Just soften the joints. Just feel, focus on that beautiful stretch in the outer thigh. Take three more breaths. And slowly bring that leg back and up. Give it a little stretch. Let's bring the other knee in, make a little ball, a little seedling. And roll down, shoulders away. Just bring the arms and legs up. Start to breathe. We'll stay like this for a little bit. And shake it out. Jiggle, 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 jiggle. Take a deep breath in and out. <sighs> Again, big breath. <sighs> Last time. <sighs> Good. So if there's any movement that your body wants, do it now. If not, Bring the legs and we're going to do just a brief relaxation in a, in a restorative pose. I love this, especially with the back bends. This be, really broadens the lower back, the sacrum. So be as wide as your mat, thigh bones turning in, pressing in towards each other. And you're going to give yourself a hug and we're going to just do 10 breaths, holding like this. Relaxing, softening, and then 10 breaths, switching the arms, okay? So this will be just our scanning the body, bringing all of that beautiful energy into center. Just breathe. And after your tenth breath, just slowly come over into a fetal position. And take five more breaths in your fetal position. Slowly stretch the leg away. And we're going to use the principles to lift us so you're grounded. Come and bring your hands in ground. Push, extend, and come over. So come into a comfortably seated position. There we are. Okay. And just let your body relax in this seated position. Have soft, soften your eyes, 
Soften your jaw. Feel yourself grounded, extended, and open. Let's do this mudra, the Jhana Mudra, the classic mudra for Hatha Yoga. Just spend a minute breathing, just noticing the breath, noticing anything that comes up for you, and just observing it with detachment. Slowly sitting here, just notice any sounds that are farthest away from you, perhaps on the street or another place in your house. And then notice any sounds that are in the room. Or close to your room. And then notice the sounds that are in your body. See if you can hear your breath. If you could sense and feel or hear your heartbeat. Just listen to the universe within you. Feel the vibrations and sensations. And then slowly bring your palms together. Thumbs lift up your heart. And let's seal our practice by chanting the universal sound of home. Big breath in. Thank you. Namaste.